Hi everybody, uh, my name is Crystal Card. I'm from New Hampshire in the United States and um, basically I'm just here to tell you a little bit about my story and why camps like the ones provided by the Global Good Foundation are so important. Um, I first went to camp when I was eight years old. I went to Copper Cannon, which is where Miss Tanya worked. Um, and it was, it was named after a local mountain, Cannon Mountain, that we would hike every year. Um, and this was really nerve-wracking for me. Uh, I was born with a lung disease called Cartagena Syndrome, um, which basically it's really rare, um, and it makes it so you can't breathe very well. Um, and so the idea of hiking a mountain, it was, I was really anxious about it. Um, and I remember specifically one year, uh, I went hiking with Tanya, and I went with her. Uh, we were so slow, because I'm such a klutz, and I trip all the time. But we were laughing the whole time, and it was great. Um, but by the time we got back down to the mountain, everyone else had already finished, and they were waiting in the bus. Um, I remember being really embarrassed, and I just, I wanted to sit down, I wanted to go home, and I was really tired. But I remember, um, when we got on the bus, everyone started cheering. And I was really confused, I didn't understand, and then it sunk in that they were all clapping for me. Um, <clears throat> and here were 60 relative strangers who were honestly proud of me for climbing the same mountain that they had climbed, and they wanted me to know it. Um, and that's the thing, I think, about camps, like the, the ones provided by the Global Good Foundation. Um, whether you know these people for a week or whether you keep in touch with them for the next 10 years, um, for that time being that you're with them, you have a family. And you have people that really care about you mm -hmm. and that they want you to know that they care about you. Um, and I think that pride is something that stays with you for the rest of your life. Um, I'm now 18. I go to college in, at Smith College in Massachusetts. I'm majoring in international relations. And I know that whenever that something seems too difficult or I feel like I'm alone in the world, I can stop and I can think back to that time of hiking the mountain. And I can remember how difficult it was and how it felt like because of the hand that I had been dealt in life with my lung disease that it was going to be impossible for me. But then I can remember that I did it and that not only did I do it with Tanya by my side. But when I came back, I had an entire bus full of people who were proud of me for that. Um, I also, I think that sometimes we can underestimate the power an individual can have in another person's life. Um, and so when we stop and we think, wow, one person can really make a difference, but then what about five people making a difference? And then what about, what happens when you have 60 people who believe in you? And that's what's happening at the camps provided by the Global Good Foundation. You've got all these people who are believing in children who have gone through some really horrible things. And it turns into the most beautiful thing I can imagine. So I don't think we could ever say that a week can change a life. I think instead we have to say that a week does change a life and that it's not that it's just that week, it's the rest of their life. It's the pride that's instilled in that child and the love that they know that people have for them that really makes a difference. Um, basically, I just want you to know that the work being done here and the people doing the work, they're not only changing lives, but they're changing the future. And these kids need more people like you, and they're very lucky to have you in your lives. So I just want to say thank you for all the time you've put in, thank you for the money, and thank you for the effort and the heart because you guys are truly making futures possible. So thank you, thank you for listening, and um, I hope you guys have a great day.